Hi, I'm Stefan, and this is a video about my tool RGB Crosstalk. And this tool is an alternative to the RGB mixer. When we look at the RGB mixer, we can see that in the red output, the red channel is at one, and the green output, the green output is at one, and the blue output, the blue is at one. So if I increase the green to one, but we want to keep the neutrals, we have to move the blue slider down to zero. And now we have a split tone effect. Now we can add another node and we can rotate the U and maybe add a bit of saturation. So our skin tone is back on the skin tone line. So we have to make adjustments to two sliders and to a second node. With my DCTL it's a bit easier if I increase the green and blue. The blue value will automatically drop down to zero. So I don't have to think about it. So if I increase this to 0.5, it is the same like increasing this to 0.5 and lowering this to 0.5. So this is the same, but it's just faster. And I can also lower the red and blue value to let's say minus 0.2. Then it looks like this. And it is the same like adjusting the green to 0.5 lowering the red to minus 0.2 and now we have to lower the blue value to 70 to have neutrals. But the DZTEL will do it automatically for us. So we don't have to think about the blue slider, the blue output in blue. We just have to think about the red slider and the green slider. So the green in red and the blue in red are those two sliders here. Then we have red and green and blue and green, red and green and blue and green, and we have red and blue and green and blue, red and blue and green and blue. And the RGB mixer is very useful to create different looks, for example, an orange and teal look. So this is before and this is after. And of course we can reduce the effect here. So this is one look and I click on reload. And if I want a more autumn look, I can use the green and red slider and move this one to the right and the blue and red to the left. And now the image gets very saturated. So maybe I bring down my saturation a bit and lower the blend mode. And we can now see that the green leaves are more shifted towards yellow. Of course, this is maybe a bit too extreme. So this looks more natural. This is before and this is after. Here another example, this is the original. And here's the RGB mixer version. So you can see I've changed the green and red and blue and red and all other sliders. This is before and this is after. So you can see that we are able to create completely different looks with the RGB mixer. And for this image, maybe I want to reduce the red and green. and the blue and green. And then I will rotate the U slider a bit. So to bring the skin tone back to normal. So this is before and this is after and we can really see how the shirt pops and we push this more towards magenta. So with this DCTL we've created this um, magenta green split 
So this is a very strong look, but maybe that's the direction you're going for. And here another example where I pushed the where I pushed this color more towards blue. So this is before and this is after. And here another example. So this is the original image. And we can see this has a very strong orange and teal look already. And maybe I want more separation between the basketball and his skin. So I can lower the red and green value and also the blue and green value. And this will spread up the colors as we can see here. So this is before and this is after and we can now see in the before image this basketball here is very close to his skin tone. And after we have more separation between the skin and the basketball. So this is before and this is after. Before, after, before, after. So the RGB mixer can really help us to fix certain images. You can download a free demo version of this detail from our website. The demo version comes with a watermark, which appears as a grid of black pixels overlaid on the image, but is fully functional. That's it, thanks for watching, have a nice day and see you next time.